Hey, how's it going everybody? I was gonna make a short video about a long way to get dinner. First, I'm going to catch bait fish from this little pond. I'm gonna use those bait fish to catch bass, and then I'm gonna cook the bass Branzino style. So Branzino is the European bass. It's big in Italy. So I'm gonna cook the fish whole, and I'm also going to use herbs and other goodies from the garden. So let's get started. We got our bait. All right, fishing a heavy line with a leader and an octopus hook, circle hook, and then I'm floating maybe about two feet deep with a live rim. And I'm going to go ahead and put it through for dinner. I've got three for dinner. I just wanted to show you what this is like out here. It's not all fishing off a dock. We got poison ivy right here. We got these fire ants right here. Yeah. Look at them biting my foot. This fish is dead, but I'm scaling it in the water so that the scales don't fly everywhere. And then I'll gut it it's ready for cooking. Alright, so I've got three largemouth bass. I also cut the gills out. They're gutted, scaled. I'm gonna put these in the fridge while I go harvest other ingredients. Alright, first up some ginger. This is actually growing this year. So here's some that I collected from last year. Now let's get some garlic. And if you've never seen it, this is garlic. And this is what it looks like when you pull these up. So when you pull this plant up, you got the bulb with the cloves in there. I've had this drying for a couple days. Definitely want some basil. This is just regular sweet basil. I've also got some Thai and some other. Mm -hmm. Nice fresh basil. And I'll get some of these green onions here too. And why not? Why don't we collect some of this thyme? So that's fresh thyme. Here's a little baby lemon and here's a lemon that it's still a little green but it'll do just fine especially considering growing on the homestead. And while I'm out here why don't I pick some peas for a side dish, a little snow peas. All right, for my lemon balm orzo, going to saute some onions. Gonna saute some garlic in there. Then I've got 
some lemon lime zest. I've got my lemon balm I'm gonna add in just a minute. I'm gonna add some honey from my beehives. And a little bit of some balsamic vinegar. Just gonna get this just tender. Get those onions tender. Do a little black pepper. I'll do the lemon balm at the very end and some lemon juice. Alright. The fish is going to be two steps. First, we're going to make a sauce or a marinade. So here's my lemon lime zest, interchangeable. So I say lemon and lime, maybe about a quarter cup of oil. We're going to do onions, you can do shallots, and lots of ginger. I have lots of ginger in this fish dish. Okay. All right, now while that's sitting for just a minute, we're going to score our fish. I can go too deep. Just want to, in a good, sharp knife, it's key here. Okay, we're gonna score it. That's gonna let all of the marinade get in there. Okay, and I think I'm gonna smoke this. So this is gonna be fun. Okay, whether you want to eat the skin or not, it's up to you. So, our first step is going to be stuffing the fish. Okay, so now to stuff the fish, I'm gonna take some of that ginger, and take a bunch of onions. Remember our thyme and our basil. So I'm just really gonna stuff that cavity. There we go, I'm gonna do this for all three. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, remember our little marinade here? We're gonna get this on one side, get it on the other side. Let this sit maybe for about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes while I fire up the smoker. Just want all this flavor to get in and on all over this delicious, tender, largemouth bass. Looks like a big mess right now, but you just wait till you see it at the end. All right, I'm gonna smoke these at about 350. Flip them up until the eyes turn white flaky flesh shows itself. Right. Lemon balm, lemon orzo. We got fresh ginger, fresh garlic, sesame, snow peas, little razzle dazzle, little extra sesame oil. for the big one. Using the fish spatula for fish. 